So what started like a joke has finally come to reality after weeks of speculation of only of Ife, Oba Enitan, Adeye, Ogunwosi, or Jaja too getting a wife, he has finally done that. Only of Ife finally marries again for the fourth time to Mariam Ajibola Anako, who is reported to be a top executive in an oil and gas firm. He has moved on with his life. He is right now married to a Kogi beauty. When Oni of Ife married Prophetess Naomi in October 2018, he went as far as making a post celebrating her on his official Instagram page. But with this new marriage, I checked his Instagram page. There was nothing there. I don't know why. Once the story hits the internet, if there is nobody that debunk it, just watch the story. Later, it will develop wings and develop legs and develop hands. It might even fly. It might walk. It might run at the end of the day because this story has been on the internet for a while. Let's just keep an eye on it. Only for the whole ceremony to to be concluded on Tuesday and not quite long, not up to 24 hours after this news broke, bloggers came up with another news. This one is by Leadership which I believe is a reputable newspaper company. So when I saw it exclusive 24 hours after taking New Bride, only of if a plans another wedding, I'm like, can this be serious? Can this not be serious? And I also saw it again on another blog. So right now it's allegedly, I don't know whether it's true or not. So based on the story that is out there, it was stated that barely 24 hours after Oni of Ife has taken in a new bride into the palace of Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty Oba Adeyeye Enitan Ogunwosi Ojaja II has concluded plans to take another bride as a second wife, allegedly. Leadership media company gathered that a team of chiefs from the palace in Ileife, Oshun State, on Wednesday visited the family of another bride-to-be, Dr. Elizabeth Obe Oluwa Akimuda. In Magodo area of Lagos. Hmm, this is really getting interesting. I guess Oni doesn't want to be taken on unawares whereby a lady will separate from him and he gets to hear it on the internet. At least if one is going, there'll be another one that will be in the palace. I don't know how truthful it is but this is what I saw. And the lady is also a high profile lady. She is a Scotland based electronic data processor and she hails from Ondo City in Ondo State. Hmm. And Maram is a top executive in oil and gas that means only is out now to go for high profile ladies all these ladies are really interested in royalty they're interested in fame that's the only thing i can say they want to level up there is one thing i realized that most of these ladies only has something to do with apart from his baby mama all other women are fair skinned most of them are bleaching which means only likes fair ladies in as much as he's a dark person and they're very beautiful ladies the only thing is that their complexion are not original a lot of people have been asking question why is it that his marriage doesn't last long he has been with four women married three of them this last one is the fourth wife before only got married to his first wife he had a baby mama and the lady is called Ola Dakpo Ola Tumbo Sun, who gave birth to Omolara who is only of his first first child he got into this entire government when they were much younger his first daughter is full grown then he got married to his first wife Adebukola Bombata who he married before he became only of Ife after he ascended the throne in 2015, the lady felt that that was not the lifestyle she signed up for and she decided to find her way. Now, the lady left the marriage because she never signed the life of being an Olori to a king or being a queen. That right now, the lady is in UK. There are some people that don't like being in the public eye, being a traditional ruler. You need to live within your community. You have to be there for your people. Only of Ife is a first class monarch. He's a well respected king in Yoruba Kingdom. Only of Ife eventually settled down with Zainab Otiti Obano who is from Edo State from the ancient city of Bini in 2016 and the marriage did not last long. 2017 after 17 months of marriage there were lots of issues to battle with in the marriage, lots of amiable people here and there, lots of stories surrounding their divorce. Some people link the story to Oni's three sisters who allegedly stay in the palace. There was a time the sisters also debunked the story saying that they never had any hands in the breakup of their brother's marriage. Zainab filed for divorce from the monarch. The divorce was finalized the same year. She moved on with her life right now. The news filtered the internet a couple of months ago that she has a baby now with her Arabian prince. Oni got himself entangled with prophetess Naomi Sile Kunola, founder of Enhara's ministry in Akure in October 2018 and they married for about three years. The marriage produced a son called Tadenikao. 
On December 23, 2021, Prophetess Naomi shook the whole world by announcing her separation from Oni of Ife. She made a post on her Instagram page which she left for a couple of months. She recently took down that post. This separation made a very big topic of discussion on the internet as Oni said that he only got notice of the separation on the internet when she announced it on her Instagram page which means they didn't even discuss it at home before she went on to write that long epistle and when she made that post, when she announced it. The media specialist of Oni of Ife <laughs> only said that her account was hacked to deceive people more and to confuse people more. So that's the reason why I don't believe any message that they gave from the palace saying that Oni was not aware of it till she made the post on Instagram. However, the reports have it that there were people that mediated between Oni and Prophetess Naomi to see if they would come back together. But unfortunately, they were not able to make peace between two of them. Most often, separation that happened publicly is very difficult to amend it's very difficult for those two people to come back together when naomi put up that post on her instagram page and refused to pull it down i realized that it would be very difficult for people to mediate on their behalf when she put up that post a lot of people criticized her though some people backed her up saying that since she's a public person the marriage they had was in the public that she also has the right to put up their separation in the public space which the elders of the palace frown seriously at some people have been in their feelings praying so hard that they come back together because they believe that naomi is good for the palace but it didn't work out she has now moved on with her ministry because she's a prophetess so right now she is co-parenting their son with oni of ife barely nine months after that separation here we are today oni of ife has moved on with another lady mariam anako who is from kogi state ibira precisely based on the report that she said that she will be the last wife of Oni of Ife. I hope she's ready for the throne. She's ready to deliver. I hope she's willing to put in her best. It's not just by saying it, it's by acting it, making it come to reality. Right now, a lot of people have lots of questions. Why is it that Oni of Ife's marriage doesn't last? Why is it that most women that enter the palace, they still leave after some years? What is it that is happening in that palace that is driving all these women away? This has been questions on the lips of lots of people. According to Yoruba custom, there are ayabas. And these ayabas, are known as concubines they are always there in the palace and traditionally they can also be challenged to the wife in the palace so i hope she's aware of all this then queen ashley is also there in the palace for now that one i've not heard about her for quite a long time so i don't know what is happening to her though she's based in london but from time to time she goes to the palace and this new alleged wife that they are talking about nobody knows how truthful that one is that one is another layer of issue when it comes to the ex-wife of Oni of Ife, the women that have left their palace. What is very common among their separation, when Zainab left, she said that the culture of blaming women when there is problem in marriage has to stop. Though she didn't mention the name of the king, she didn't even say the main reason why she left the palace, but she putting up that statement alone shows that she's not the problem. There are other problems in the palace, maybe the king is the problem, maybe there are other issues that she chose not to disclose. Naomi, when she left, after writing her epistle, she made it clear that only her two personalities the personality he wants people to know him with and the personality at home so right now i hope they are able to make the new wife understand what the throne is all about what the palace is all about so that at the end of the day she will not be disappointed she will not be surprised i wish them happy married life i wish them smooth sail in their marriage also if there are things in the palace that are driving these women away that has to be corrected they have to work on it with the ayabas but the ayabas they've been there already somebody who is marrying into the throne she also understand that there are women already there the only is a modern king he wants to make his throne very modern and i think that's the reason why he wants to stick to one wife i don't know how he wants to be a modern king in an ancient kingdom i don't know how he wants to do it anyway it seems everything is falling apart if he doesn't want to take more wives and the ayabas are there no matter how anybody views it there's a reason why these women go it's not just normal Though I'm rooting for him, I want his marriage to last long, I want him to have a successful marriage and I wish them happy married life, living happily ever after. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna sign off here, stay healthy and safe. Remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to the channel if you've not done already. And I'm gonna catch you guys in my next video. Bye and remain blessed.